UFC 304 Edwards vs. Muhammad 2 took place on July 27th in front of a sold-out co-op live in Manchester, England. The event brought in $6.7 million at the gate and another $7 million more from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract, not to mention pay-per-view revenue in the tens of millions, sponsorships, and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? International commissions typically do not disclose fighter pay information, so while Venom sponsorship and fight bonuses are released, the purses I'll be showing in this video are just projections based on previously disclosed earnings. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Kicking off the main card, Giga Chikadze spammed his patented high kicks in the first round against fellow featherweight Arnold Allen, as Allen struggled to find a home for his strikes. In the second and third, Chikadze mixed up his attack, but Allen kept the pressure on, connecting with hard shots that bloodied his opponent's nose on his way to a unanimous decision victory. Chikadze earned $62,000 to show and $6,000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, and took home $68,000. While Allen made $81,000 to show and $81,000 for the win, $11,000 in sponsorship, and a total of $173,000. In the second fight, middleweight Gregory Rodriguez scored a takedown halfway through the first against Christian Leroy Duncan, but was unable to cause significant damage. The second took place primarily on the feet, as both men unleashed devastating blows. But Rodriguez pulled away in the final round, landing the harder shots and threatening with submission attempts on the ground. In a fight that few expected to go all through Three rounds, the scorecards came down as a unanimous decision win for Gregory Rodriguez. Duncan brought in $33,000 to show and $4,500 in sponsorship for $37,500 on the night. While Rodriguez earned $56,000 to show and another fifty-six dollars for the win, along with $6,000 in Venom sponsorship for a total of $118,000. The third fight didn't last long, as lightweights Patty Pimblett and Bobby King Green briefly traded low kicks and punches before Green shot for a takedown, almost immediately ending up in a triangle. He initially fought the choke, but ultimately went to sleep, giving Patty the submission victory and his sixth straight win in the UFC. Green earned $185,000 to show and the maximum non-championship $21,000 in sponsorship pay for a total of $206,000. And the winner, Patty Pimblett, revealed after the fight that he'd signed a hefty new six-fight deal with the UFC, meaning he made an estimated $120,000 to show and another $120,000 for the win, $6,000 in sponsorship pay, along with a whopping $200,000 performance of the night bonus, and a total of $446,000. In the co-main event, Manchester's own Tom Aspinall wasted no time defending his interim heavyweight belt against the challenger Curtis Blades. Both men landed big shots in the opening seconds before Aspinall dropped Blades with a sharp right hand and followed it up with ground strikes to take the TKO victory just one minute into the first round. Blades took home $350,000 guaranteed and $32,000 in sponsorship for $382,000 on the night. And still, the interim UFC heavyweight champion Tom Aspinall earned $500,000 guaranteed, $42,000 in sponsorship, along with a $100,000 performance of the night bonus. And while we can only speculate on the pay-per-view, I use a formula based on Eddie Alvarez and Ronda Rousey's publicly released revenue from 2016 and update it to account for new benchmarks and pay-per-view price increases to create a ballpark estimate. The final number varies greatly depending on the buy rate, but assuming 500,000 buys, his cut falls somewhere in the neighborhood of $450,000 to $550,000, putting him right around $1.1 million. And finally, in the main event of the evening, the challenger Bilal Muhammad looked sharp in the first round against the champ Leon Edwards as he held his own on the feet and mixed in takedowns and groundwork. He continued to control the fight in the second round, but in the third, it was Leon who took his opponents back, threatening with submissions. The fourth and fifth rounds saw more dominance from the challenger, and apart from a few nasty elbows by Edwards in the waning seconds that left Muhammad covered in blood, it was a clear decision as Bilal Muhammad got it done to earn the welterweight strap. Edwards received $500,000 guaranteed, $42,000 in Venom sponsorship, and somewhere in the range of $675,000 to $825,000 for his champion's cut of the pay-per-view, pushing his total to an estimated $1.3 million for the biggest paycheck of the night. And the new undisputed UFC welterweight champion Bilal Remember the Name Muhammad brought in $350,000 guaranteed, $32,000 in sponsorship pay, and took home $382,000. 
That's all for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next week for UFC Fight Night, Sandhagen versus Nurmagomedov.